welcome back to the house that nerds built. So this week I've been struggling with a lot of anxiety. Um, I've been thinking a lot that, you know, I'm stupid, I'm useless, no one wants me around, I don't get anything done, people are just so much happier when I'm not there. Just like really crummy, unhealthy thoughts that I don't like having. Uh, so recently, instead of entertaining them, I've just been telling myself to shut up and make something when I start to feel that way. Uh, just to direct my energy into something else, something creative. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I shut up and made. Um, here's a bag made out of other little plastic bags. Uh, it's sturdy, it's reusable, and it's a lot of fun. It was uh, crocheted. Um, and I made this little cell phone for Gwenpool so that she could play Pokemon Go with me. Check that out. Whoa! It's on a little scrap of cardboard I cut out, uh, and I painted it with a sewing needle. She actually came with a little cell phone, uh, but it was black plastic and it didn't have anything on the screen. So I figured I could just do something a little fun, uh, a little quirky, and so I did. And I was looking through my stuff recently and I found this little guy, Vincent Van Gogh. Whoa, how cool is that? Um, and I also found a little paintbrush I made him. Uh, and it's uh, the handles made out of a toothpick that I carved down and the bristles are actually functioning bristles. If I wanted to, I could paint something with this. Uh, the metal around here is some copper uh, tape. And uh, Van Gogh actually came with a little paintbrush. It's this little thing, but it's black plastic and it's not actually a paintbrush. So um, when at all possible, I prefer my miniatures to be functional miniatures. I like that, uh, I like when things can be actually used for what it seems like they could be used for. I don't like dollhouse doors that don't open. I don't like drawers that aren't actually drawers. It's stuff like that. So uh, I've been known to modify dollhouse furniture to actually make the facade drawer a real drawer so that uh, it can be opened and closed and things can be put in there and all that stuff. So um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about action figures. I've been really, really into uh, the Marvel's Legends series. I think that they've got some really cool uh, stuff going on there. Uh, a lot of them have uh, hands that can be switched in and out, different heads that can be switched in and out. Uh, there's a lot of versatility, and they're very, very poseable. Uh, I, I brought uh, with me a Loki that you can see. Look, his hands are perfect for making dramatic speeches. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so uh, as you can see, his joints are really well done. He can sit in chairs if he wanted to, uh, he can bend, uh, and I think it's really important in a figure. I really like articulation, so um, he's just one of the examples in the Legend series that I think is just really, really well done. Um, so I'm probably not gonna be doing much art this week because I blistered my thumb up pretty bad. Uh, so I can't crochet or sew or paint or sculpt until it's healed up a little better. Uh, so I'll probably be working on some writing, um, and I'm pretty excited about that. I've got this screenplay, uh, Beak, uh, about the best X-Men. If you don't know who Beak is, look him up. He's better than all of the X-Men. And so I wrote him a movie, and I want to finish up my editing on that and send it out there so that people can read it because it's honestly one of the things I've written, I've written that I'm proudest of and I want other people to enjoy it too and you know maybe someone will make it someday and that'd be really really cool. So this is Beak right here. Yep, he's the best. So you can probably see why I think people need to kind of be nudged to give him his own movie. But um I think he's he's honestly a fantastic character with a lot of potential. And um, anyway, I'm going to go and continue shutting up and making stuff. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and that you know that you're loved and important and special to someone because you are.